Hello my friends. I don't even know how to do this anymore. <laughs> um, so welcome back and I guess I first need to kind of but not really apologize for my absence. It was funny over the last few weeks I've seen my subscribers kind of increase and I'm like these poor people like I haven't put up content in the longest time so um yeah I'm sorry I do upload but Life has been busy and things have been happening and I'm gonna explain it all now. I'm also gonna get ready for a night out. So if any of that sounds attractive to you, sounds like something you might want to look at, then just stay tuned. So the first thing I want to say, that this is a COVID free zone. That is the only time I'm gonna say the C word. I am not talking about that damn thing that's just wrecked all of our lives for the past couple of months. I will talk about working from home, a couple of other bits and pieces like that, but I'm not mentioning the C word at all. So this is a C free zone. I'm sick of talking about it and that's it. So tonight I am going to my uncle's 60th birthday dinner and I'm so excited. So restrictions in Ireland have lifted a little bit and we can go to restaurants with family which is amazing and that's what we're doing tonight so I'm getting ready for that. I've seen people like from afar and like waved at people but I haven't like been able to sit down and have a chat with many of my kind of extended family so I'm so looking forward to that. So anyway I need to start putting on some makeup and start filling you in on my not so exciting but kind of busy life. <laughs> I'm also in the middle of like having a little snack so I have some strawberries, some chai seeds and some Greek yogurt and it's just so good. So guys a little disclaimer on the makeup front, I haven't gotten anything new for the simple reason that I've been wearing pretty much no makeup. I got the first part of my febrile treatment done a few weeks ago which means that I haven't even had to fill in my brows for the last like almost two weeks which has been amazing so I've literally just been putting on mascara so but I am putting on makeup don't worry I'm not just gonna like sit here and put on mascara while I talk to you but uh yeah I'm putting on makeup for tonight but I haven't been wearing it so I haven't gotten anything new because I haven't needed it and I'm also trying to minimize my kind of spending on makeup and kind of try and get through what I already have because I have an awful lot of stuff that just doesn't get used. I'm just gonna pop some of my Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation. You know that's my favorite favorite foundation. Um, I have a video on it. I'll link it up here if you want to have a little look. So I guess the first thing I want to say is um, hello and welcome to my new subscribers. There's about 50 of you and thank you so much for subscribing. I do upload. Um, just things are just a little bit different at the moment, but things will resume to normal. Don't you worry about that. Um, your subscription hasn't been wasted, put it that way. A lot has kind of happened over the last while. The biggest thing is that I got a new job. So yes, I got a new job and it's kind of within the company I was already working for. So I actually, I work for Google and I kind of started working as a contractor in Google last October and then I became a full-time employee in May, so the end of May. So it's kind of around the time, actually the last video I did was right before I took a, a week off between like my contract and my full-time role and um, yeah, that's the last time I actually did a video, isn't that crazy? So yeah, that's kind of been happening and, and I suppose, you know, with the working from home situation, you see me filming in this room, this is also my office. So right like over here is my desk and my stuff. So I spent a lot of time in this room and to be completely honest at the weekends I'm really trying to get out and get a little bit more exercise and walks and stuff like that because I'm kind of doing something a little bit different with my fitness and nutrition which I'll talk to you about in a couple of minutes as well so yeah I mean like kind of an unusual time to start a new job I was really lucky that I'd already been in Google and I'd been in the offices because anyone else has you know started and they've onboarded from home um, which cannot be easy. You know, I've met lots of my team in person before, even before this new job. Um, so I was really lucky to have known those people and had those connections before I started this new role. So that has been really good, but it still gets lonely at the same time. I think people look at Google and they see our amazing offices and they see our really collaborative workspaces and yeah that's a hundred percent that's what they're there for collaboration and you know sharing of ideas and whatnot um, and we don't have that anymore and you can feel that you're like I'd love to just like go and have coffee with somebody or go and have a lunch with somebody so we will get there we'll get we'll get back to some sort of normal hopefully soon Probably not till next year though, realistically. Not till 2021. I've kind of rabbited it on. So start a new job. That's all I kind of wanted to tell you on that one. So normally I'd have like my Monday to Friday 
desk job which is now just there and then I would spend my Saturdays recording filming YouTube videos and editing then on a Sunday and that takes up a lot of time and editing in particular takes up an awful lot of time but I really really enjoy it however over lockdown I definitely prioritized my mental health and by prioritizing prioritizing my mental health I also prioritized my exercise and upping my exercise making sure that I got out for walks and got you know home workouts and stuff done like that as well so definitely when I was in previous jobs having a YouTube channel and having that distraction at the weekends really helped me to de-stress and to just kind of have a hobby um, which I really really needed because before I started working at Google I was in like the two jobs before that um, were not nice jobs and they were extremely stressful and they were bad for my health as well like bad for both my mental health and bad for definitely my migraines and my stress levels and things like that so I kind of threw myself into YouTube and creating videos and that was brilliant and it was great distraction however I wasn't getting as much exercise as I would if I was spending my time obviously out doing walks and things like that so that coupled with the kind of stressful environments that I was in, it meant that right before I started Google, so last year, so it would have been October 2019, um, I had put on a stone. <laughs> and I laugh now, but like, so from my wedding, so the, our wedding was in June 2018, God, imagine I forgot that. Um, our wedding was in June 2018 and from then, from June 2018 to November 2019 or October 2019, I had put on a stone and I was disgusted with myself because I've always been, you know, conscious of what I, I've eaten. I keep, need to keep doing my makeup. I've always been conscious of what I've, what I've been eating, but what I did find I was doing was I was eating due to stress. So I've had a stressful day, I would eat. I didn't prepare lunches, I didn't prepare any food, which is like, absolutely dynamite and I used to just go to the shop and get like chicken feather roll for my lunch and then come home and I'd be like really stressed and then really tired and lethargic and I didn't want to do anything and the last thing I wanted to do was like go for a walk or run or go to the gym or anything like that so it was a really vicious circle I was stressed I was eating like shit because I was stressed and then I wasn't exercising because I was so tired when, you know, at the end of the day. But then I started working at Google and I ended up getting the train into Dublin City and then walking to the office, which meant that straight away when I got that job, I was actually, I'm gonna use the Michelle Fox um, Fuchsia palette, one of my favorite, favorite palettes. You've seen me use this before. Again, video popped there if you want to take a look. Um, so straight away when I joined Google, it meant that with that walking, it meant I had immediately like an hour of exercise a day that I didn't have and wouldn't have had in either of the other jobs because I always kind of drove there and it's like a five minute walk from my car to the office whereas in Google it was like a little bit of a walk to the train station and I also would get like a train and I'd get off at an earlier stop to make sure that I got that walk in. So I managed to lose a half a stone um, actually quite quickly. So between like November, so between October, start of October 2019 and January 2020, I lost half a stone and I proceeded to try and lose the other half stone and I kind of waver up and down, up and down and I could never get to where I wanted to be. So back about six weeks ago, I was like, Amy, just, this is ridiculous. You just need to get this sorted. Um, you need to get back comfortable and confident in your body. You need to get back healthy. I was starting to eat a lot more sugar as well. And I was like, I know this slippery slope. This is not cool. So what I did was contacted an online coach and signed up with them. So if you saw my video on endometriosis, you'll know that I mentioned a guy called Shane Walsh, Shane Walsh Fitness. And because I do suffer from endometriosis and I think I have like pretty crap periods compared to other people, but, well, at least that's what people tell me. Um, I wanted somebody that was kind of specifically focused on women's health and I have no idea what eye look I'm doing here, by the way. I'm literally just dipping into like random things, probably just creating the same eye look I create all the time. So anyway, got in touch with Shane and was like, listen, this is what I want to do. And we started working together and it has been amazing. So I've lost three kilos almost, which is pretty good. Um, and I'm eating so much better. My energy is like through the roof. I'm so much happier in myself. And I also just really needed the accountability. So yeah, I've been working with Shane for six weeks now and I'm so happy. 
Um, I'm going to continue working with them and see how far I can go and like, you know, in terms of my health and my body shape and things like that too. So yeah, that has taken up a lot of time because I've prioritized that. So in the past, I would have prioritized, I want to get a YouTube video up every week. I need to get a YouTube video up every week. And that would have been one of my like targets for my week. So then when I was like, right, okay, well, I'm only one person and I'm only like a certain amount of resource. So something needs to give if I want to really like smash my fitness and nutrition goals and YouTube had to be the thing that kind of, you know, needed to take a little backseat until I could get started on my nutrition and fitness and nutrition journey and then see where I could fit YouTube back in, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm so happy. Sorry, I'm just finishing my snack. <laughs> I had to jump ahead there a little bit because I would literally just sit here for like two hours going like this and talking rubbish, <laughs> as you well know. So. Do you remember back, like I probably have mentioned this loads of times, I, I've definitely mentioned it loads of times. It was an Essence eyeliner that I always, always loved. So during lockdown I ran out and I do love my eyeliner even though I'm not like seeing people or whatever, I just love my eyeliner. Um, so I ran out of my Essence eyeliner and could not get it online. Is it just me or does anyone else have difficulty getting Essence stuff online? Maybe it was just the time as well because everything was sold out everywhere because all anyone was doing was online shopping. But I got this one instead. Actually, I got something else I want to show you too. So I did get two things, so I lied a little bit. But what I got was the NYX uh, Matte Liquid Liner. That's it there. I hope you can see that. This is very, very similar to the Essence one that I'm, I was telling you about before in that the tip of it is just so easy to use it glides on it stays it's jet black and you can really hug it in tight into your lash line as well so it's gonna be kind of weird not doing my brows tonight because like i said to you already i'm in the process of getting my fee brows done so you can kind of see the difference here it's a little bit patchy um, and i can't put any product on them until like next wednesday they do look a bit odd they are going to look a bit odd but i don't care you know how much I've raved about butter bronzer for the last how many years. I absolutely love it. This one that I've used for years is the bronzer butter bronzer. I always find that this particular bronzer when I'm pale and I don't have tan on is a bit kind of just too bronze, if you know what I mean. Whereas this one here, which is a light bronzer, I got for when I'm a little bit paler. So I'm actually going to use this today. And the great thing about the light bronzer as well is that you can build it up if needs be. And the even better thing about it is that it's new and it just smells like coconuts, like Malibu. Oh my God, this is just, I'm obsessed with this bronzer. I should have also concealed these spots. What is the story? Guys, I've genuinely like forgotten how to do makeup properly. I don't know. I'm just really excited to like leave the house and see my family so I'm like Meh, it'll be fine. So I'm gonna make a very controversial move and not no I'm not gonna go for lashes today no I'm just not feeling it. Obviously like I said I work at Google so in Barrow Street there's a Mars pharmacy and the one thing I got right before like so I basically had my whole desk packed into my backpack and I was like running for the train and I was like, no, everywhere might shut down. I need mascara. So I ran into Mars Pharmacy on Barrow Street and I got Bad Gal Bang Benefit mascara. Like that was so funny. I just remember it so distinctly being like, I don't know what's going to happen. Nobody knows what's going to happen. What if I run out of mascara? That's where my priorities were at that point. So what I do is I use Bad Gal Bang mascara and then I team it up with the Essence Lash Princess. And this is in the volume mascara. It's kind of like that orangey kind of color. Um, this on its own I don't like and for some reason right this on its own tends to flake and tends to transfer but when it's with this and on top of this it doesn't and I don't know why that is but uh, it is what it is and I like the two of them so let me just show you what they're like together so I find that the key is when you're layering mascaras is to layer the second one when the first one is still wet so don't let it dry because it goes really crispy then and it just kind of looks like spider's legs um i do kind of like the spider's legs look but you know not not so much so i'm just popping some of that lash princess mascara on over the bad gal bang The sun is starting to come out again. I'm so happy because it was literally like thunder just a little while ago. Well, there wasn't actually thunder, but like that 
rain was horrific. So I'm really glad because I'm like, hmm, will I wear heels again? Haven't worn heels in I don't even know how long. Don't know if I wear them tonight, but I can't go and like wear my runners like I've been doing for the last four months. So we shall see. So finally, again, really wish I could do something with my brows, but I'm not allowed and that's totally fine. Um, but I wanted to put something on my lips. So I think what I'm gonna go for is my Meet Matt Hughes. This is one of my old Ebs, but goodies. I love this one. This is the Balm and it's, I think Committed is this? Yeah, this is brilliant. Um, what I tend to do with this is make sure that like, so I always kind of have my Burt's Bees lip balm on my lips and then I get a tissue and I kind of just clean off my lips. And uh, this kind of works to exfoliate them ever so slightly, non-conventionally naturally enough, but still. And, and then I put some of this down on top of it because otherwise this can kind of cling to like flaky bits and just doesn't sit as well. This is a fabulous lip stain. However, don't put a gloss over it because I don't know if you saw my last video. It was actually, I think my sculpted by Amy video or my empties, one of the last ones that I did. And that's what happened. I put a gloss on over my Meet Matt Hughes and it all stuck to my teeth. So don't do that. That is just one of my tips. So guys, that is it. I'm done, dusted, ready for dinner. The rain has stopped. Happy freaking days. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little catch up um, and just to kind of give you an idea of where exactly I've been for the last two months. So yeah, look, my makeup is not anything amazing. I just wanted to take this opportunity to catch up with you guys, let you know what I've been up to and let you know that I haven't fallen off the face of the earth. I am still here and there will be some content coming your way very soon. So yeah, that is it. Thanks a million for coming and catching up with me today and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.